Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Amoog and this is a 12 year old Apple iMac. And I will be slapping a copy of Windows on it and see if all these years later, can it still play my favorite game or not. Now old not obsolete is a line that I would use for this 2013 Apple iMac. I feel like sometimes all it takes is some small upgrade to breathe some new life into devices like these. I brought this device from a local seller for just 15,000 rupees, which is roughly around 175 US dollars. Now I bought this for my dad and I wanted him to use this device as a daily machine for watching content and editing some word files. Maybe do some lightweight gaming on it. Now spec wise, we are looking at a quad core Intel Core i5-4570 processor. Now this is a quad core chip. I think it will be all right for normal daily use. GPU wise, we are looking at a 2 gigabyte NVIDIA GTX 775M. Now the M suggests that this is a mobile CPU and performance wise, this GPU can deliver close performance to a GTX 950. The 2 gigabytes of GPU memory is certainly not enough to run the latest and greatest of games, but I feel like this thing should be easily good enough for playing some asphalt. Now recently this machine had started to show some signs of old age, but the system would take minutes to boot up and was just unresponsive and sluggish with normal tasks. Now the engineer within me was not convinced that this machine was destined for the scrap. So after some use, I felt like the old mechanical hard drive was the problem. Hard drives are mostly a thing of the past now, since they contain physically moving parts that wear out over time. Now to breathe some new life into this thing, I found this cheap SSD on Amazon and decided to swap the internal hard disk with this crucial BX500. Now this is a SATA SSD and SSDs are great for upgrading old machines like these because SSDs, unlike hard disks, do not contain physically moving parts and they are really fast. Now the challenge for me was to get inside the machine. Apple has ensured to make this entire process as complicated as possible. If you do not have the technical know-how, you are stuck having to pay a lot of money to get even the simplest of fixes. To start the teardown, I wound the glue around the screen with a hairdryer and used a thin but sharp plastic casing to cut around the glue and get inside the machine. With the help of my dad, I managed to get in the device and remove the two ribbon cables to disconnect the 1440p display. Yeah, this thing had some really nice specs for the time. Getting rid of the speaker system and then it was just as easy as swapping the old hard drive with the new SATA SSD. Giving it a quick install of macOS, I used Bootcamp Utility to install a fresh copy of Windows 10. Sadly, this machine is too old for Windows 11 and I absolutely do not recommend installing Windows 11 on something like this, even with Rufus, as Bootcamp Utility does not like Windows 11. Trust me, I have tried. And it works. Uh, granted, it's not high settings. I mean, it's a 13 year old device, so I don't expect much from it. But going quickly into the task manager. Uh, the CPU is just completely pegged. The maximum GPU seems to be sitting at 40%. It's not even utilizing all of the GPU, but I think that's because I have VSync enabled. Uh, that's to that's so that it doesn't screen tear and it only has a refresh rate of 60 Hertz, but the screen is beautiful. So that's not a problem. Mm, fine, I guess for a 13 year old device. This is not a bad tune. I'll try this for myself. Of course, this is like a fresh off account. I'm not going to put my account on this. Let's see how it works. So this is the keyboard it comes with. Mm, there's some texture popping going on. It looks nice. <laughs> Okay, honestly, for a, like I said, for a 13 year old device, this is not a bad showing. 
Tem no vento, só pá. Alright. Yeah. It's not lagging at all. I mean, it's not even pushing itself that hard. So uh, nice. Alright, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.